that was pretty silly. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today is my birthday. <laughs> if you couldn't tell from the title, or from that lovely little cute intro thing, December 22nd is my birthday, and today I turn 26. I know, not that exciting, but uh, I thought it'd be really fun to just do like a sit down, get ready with me because I have a lot of plans for my birthday and I had a specific look in mind that I really wanted to do for it and I thought it'd be fun to just get ready. Before we jump into this video, don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like these get ready with me's and if you have it and you'd like to, I hope you would consider subscribing so you're notified whenever I post a new video every single Monday through Friday and in the month of December, I'm putting up a video every single day. So I've got my 2018 like bow headband on. I realized that I wore this for last New Year's. I had a picture from my New Year's party last year where I had this on and I just realized this is like one of the last few times I'll be able to wear it. So why not? We have it on. I think <laughs> I think for this year I'm just gonna try to like edit the 8 and make it look like a 9. I think that'd be really funny. <laughs> so anyway, I got that on. Let me just run through the products that I'm going to be using so I can just kind of talk through because I've got a lot of things I want to talk about today. Birthdays, the plans I have, so I don't want to forget to just mention briefly what I'm using. But if I do happen to forget something, I will list everything in the description box below as well. So for primer, I'm going to be going in with the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. This is supposed to be a dupe for the... I'm blanking, for the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. I've been testing this out. I will be doing a video soon where I do like a split face, half and half, Tatcha versus Elf, but I did want to give this a good testing out. I do want to see how it performs on its own before I put it head to head with the Tatcha. For foundation today, I will be mixing two of them. I know by the time this video goes up, the finale for my Finish 6 by Solstice will have already gone up, but I'm doing my best. I want to film that like the day before because I'm so close to using up some products and I'm still working on them. And this video is being pre-filmed because I wouldn't be able to put a video up every day if it wasn't. So the two products that I'm mixing are the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Foundation, this is in the shade 030, and my Dior Air Flash Foundation. I've been using this every day, either by itself or mixing in, just so I could try to finish this up for that project. I'm getting very close, like, it's, you'll see when I put it on, but the spray isn't coming out as intense as it was, and I feel like we're, we're getting very close to finishing this up. I've mixed these two together several times, and I love the way that it wears throughout the day. It gives me a little bit more glow, a little bit more dew, but I don't look oily and this is like after a full work day after taking the three trains to work working i wore these two together when i had to do this big 14 hour work day where i went into work at 7 a.m worked until 5 and then had to go to a client dinner that dinner was like four hours long i got home my makeup still looked good these two are really great together and I'm really enjoying mixing those. For concealer, I'm going to go in with another mixture that I've been enjoying. This is the Kylie Concealer and this is in the shade Ivory. And I've been mixing it with my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light Medium Honey. For eye primer, I am just going to go in with the Urban Decay Pr Primer Potion in the shade Eden. For face powders, I'm just going to be sticking with, again, some products from my Finish 6 by Solstice and some here in my Z palette. This is my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder I'll be using. This is my Butter Bronzer I will be using. I don't think I'll be able to finish this up by the finale, but I have hit pan again, which is very exciting. And then for contour, I really want to go in with an intense contour with this shade right here from my original Smashbox Contour Palette. Okay. Okay, and then after that, I feel like I'll go back into products again. So with that out of the way, <laughs> so I am pre-filming this video. The day that I'm filming this is not my birthday, but it will be going up on my birthday. Now with the birthday so close to Christmas, my birthday's always been very low key. I haven't really, like growing up, I never really did parties. And if I did, almost nobody really showed up. <laughs> that could be a story time, a bit of a sad story time. But I never really did parties and... It's always been just like a really low-key family affair because by the time you know you either do your birthday party so early it's not even really close to your birthday or you do it on the actual day and just kind of have like a dinner and just hang out with family and some friends 
That's actually what we did last year. They actually surprised me for the first time. We had, a couple days before my birthday, we had a coquito party. So if you don't know, I am Puerto Rican, even though my Spanish is kind of garbage. We're Puerto Rican. I have a large Puerto Rican family, and we do make coquito. So coquito, in like, if you don't know what it is, the most simplest terms, is a Puerto Rican, like, eggnog. It's very traditional for this time of the year, um, and a lot of families make it from scratch you know, within their own families. Everyone has a family recipe. I know within my family, like, so many of my aunts and uncles have, like, their recipe and they have to hold on to it. And, like, we have competitions to see who makes the best coquito. So that's the thing. So I recently started joining in because I feel like it's like a rite of passage. Like, you don't get to jump in and, like, make the coquito until you've, you're in, like, your 20s and you're kind of established. And me being um, one of the first grandchildren in the family, like, it was a big thing when I was old enough to do that. Oh, by the way, there's a lot of alcohol involved <laughs> in coquito. It's, it, let's just put it that way. There's a lot of alcohol. We put at least like four different types of alcohol in. We have like a dark rum, a light rum, a brandy. Sometimes like Bacardi 151 goes in there. It's, it's a Puerto Rican family. We can drink. <laughs> So we had this huge party last year where we all went in and we all made our own coquito. We had dinner. We were having a lot of fun. And then they actually surprised me at the end by bringing out a birthday cake and everyone saying happy birthday. And it was the first time that like I'd actually been surprised by a birthday thing. Because like I said, it's always been very low key just because of when it is. Oh, you hear that? It sounds like it's running out. That being said, something really funny that my boyfriend and I have in common is that we both have December birthdays. So his birthday is actually December 18th and mine is on the 22nd. So I know last year we didn't really do anything big because tech, okay, so technically we've been together a couple years, but we only made it like official official last October. So for our birthdays, we just kind of kept it low key. We bought each other things like on Amazon and uh, I think, he came over to meet my family on New Year's, so he hadn't actually met my family yet. So we kept it really low-key, but this year, my family loves him. He pre he's like over here every weekend. My family loves him a bit, and I've met his family. His family seems a little bit more stern, but his parents are older, and I feel like that's just that kind of their personality. But his parents actually bought us tickets to go see the... If you know, like, the Rockettes, they do this, like, Christmas spectacular show in New York City. I think it's at Radio City Music Hall. So they actually bought us tickets to go see that on my birthday. So my birthday falls on a Saturday this year, and the tickets are for, I think, 7 o'clock. So it's the first time I actually have plans to, like, go out <laughs> and do something on my birthday. I thought that was really cool. So since we're going to be in the city for that show, we decided to just make a whole day out of it. So we're going to go into the city in the morning and stop by a few places. We're still figuring out like the main itinerary, but let me talk through it because I, there's a few things in the city that I really want to do, especially since it's like Christmas time. So we're going to catch a train in to New York Penn Station, which is down on like 34th Street and Rockefeller Plaza. It's up like... 15 20 blocks ish i've done the walk before i really don't mind walking especially in cities i would much rather walk than have to take the new york subway i'm not a fan of the new york subway and i will avoid it you know when i can <laughs> so i thought it would be nice if we just did kind of like a not a walking tour but like a walking kind of a walking tour i guess where we just go to the places that we really wanted to go so the first place I want to go is Bryant Park, because if you don't know, Bryant Park has this really cute, like, Christmas fair kind of thing. Basically, they erect, um, like, a whole bunch of, like, mini stalls where you can go shopping. And vendors come in, and they sell a whole bunch of cute Christmassy things. And it's really only up between, I think, Thanksgiving and New Year's. So it's, like, this one little city block in Manhattan, and they have all these cute little vendors, and it looks adorable adorable especially at night i love going at night but today we're gonna or not today but on my birthday we're gonna hit it up like right around noon because it's the first place that we're gonna go to we might like walk by it on the way back from the show because we still have to catch a train but we're gonna hit there first and uh, right around there 
there is a bookstore that I really like. It's called Kinokuniya. It's this big Japanese bookstore. So like half the store are books like in Japanese and the other half are books in English. So they have a whole lot of manga. They've got a bunch of novels too. It's like three stories and like the basement is all like stationary and like cute little gifts and stuff and I love going down there. The ground floor is kind of like regular reading books. It's like a Barnes and Noble kind of thing. And then upstairs it's like all manga which is really cool. So Alvin hasn't gone to that store yet and I've gone a couple of times because I've been into the city a few times on my own. So I love that store. I really want to go and show him that. We might pick up a few books. I'm also going to be wearing my convertible backpack just because I really don't know how much shopping we're going to do. And I don't want to have to carry too much stuff throughout the city. You know, right when you first get there, try to save your shopping for like the last thing you do so you're not carrying your bags everywhere. So yes, first stop is Bryant Park and then Kinokuniya. Oops. And then right across the street, I think, there's that really nice Sephora Fifth Avenue. And I kind of just want to go in and see it because I've never been to that. I've walked by it once or twice, but I've never actually been into that big Sephora. So that's more curiosity rather than anything else. So we're going to go walk into that Sephora, see what they got. And then from there, I think we're going to walk up a few blocks to, wait, what was our next thing? So I pulled up our Google Doc. We have, so the next we have the Strand with a question mark. I honestly, I've been to the Strand and I forgot where it is. I can, I mean, I can easily Google it, but if it's within walking distance of where we are, we'll probably stop by there as well. The Strand, if you don't know, it's just kind of like a famous, I don't know if it's still independent. It's like a famous bookstore in the city. Um, like, you know, if you go to like Europe, everyone goes to that Shakespeare and Company bookstore. The Strand is like our version of it. So it's just a really huge bookstore. It's really pretty. Everyone has like the tote bag that says the Strand on it. Like I might get a tote bag. We'll see. Uh, but if we can go there, we will. If not, the next stop is one Alvin's actually really excited about. There's, um, actually right next to Rockefeller Plaza, I think, there's like the Nintendo store. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's like the Nintendo US or something. And it's like right there by Rockefeller. So the Rockefeller Plaza is where they have the big Christmas tree. They have all the decorations. And I really want to go there too. Maybe take some cute pictures. So yeah, the Nintendo store is, ooh, what happened to my lighting? So yeah, the Nintendo store is like right there. So I think we're going to go to the store first. I've actually, so I went to the Nintendo, uh, blah, blah, blah. So I went to a big Nintendo store when I was in Tokyo, but I haven't gone to the store here. So that'll be fun. It'll be cute. We also might pick up a few things there, but at least that'll be closer to like Radio City and to everything else. So it shouldn't be too much to carry. <laughs> so from there, we're going to go see the tree. We're going to go see the ice skating rink. I've never gone skating in there. Eh. I kind of thought it was a bit cliche to ever really want to do that, <laughs> but it looks really cute. I've gone and I like looking at like the people skating down there and whenever you go, you see at least one or two people get engaged. Like they always get engaged right there. <laughs> and then from there, we're just going to see the show. And I really don't know how long the show lasts for. Our show's at seven. We're going to see if we can grab dinner before then. There's a restaurant that I wanted to try out that's like in between Bryant Park and the Nintendo store. So we're going to try to hit that up in between. That's why we're going early because we need to be at the theater by six for the seven o'clock show just so that we can get our tickets and find our seats and you know all that fun jazz about seeing a show in the city. And then I don't know when it gets out and then from there we'll just walk back to the station and head home. But I'm excited. Like I said it's the first time I'm actually like going out for my birthday like on my birthday. So I know it's like a small thing but I'm happy that I get to do it this year. So with all of that, the look that I'm going for, I really want it to be glam. I'm gonna be wearing like a nice dress, you know, leggings, boots, layers, it's gonna be cold. But I'm gonna have a scarf on, so I really just want it to be glam. Like I wanna do a really smoky eye and a red lip. Like I know it's, it's a bit cliche, but it's cliche for a reason, because it's a good look and I really think it would be so cute. Especially in the pictures, it'll, you know, it's it gonna be cute. The first step for me for glam is definitely just a more dramatic bronzer and contour. Maybe a little bit up here. There's a 90% chance my hair is gonna be up like in a fancy ponytail or something just so I don't have to worry about it like flying around in the city. 
So I'm going to make sure just to take my bronzer like up into my hairline to A, cover up like where the foundation hit and B, just so that it blends a bit more since I know my hair is going to be like up, blend out the contour. For blush, I really wanted to go with like a deep, dramatic, mauve kind of blush. So I'm going to mix these two dark shades from this ABH blush blush from this ABH blush kit in Radiant. I'm gonna mix those two. I also really like to take just a little bit of what's left on my brush with the blush just a little bit down here and then a little bit in the center of my forehead. I feel like it just gives me a little bit more color than I need. Then blend, blend, blend. For my highlight, I'm going to be sticking with an old favorite. This is the Becca Highlight in Royal Glow. And I just love this highlighter. I do like taking my highlighter into like my eye right there and a little bit up there. A little on the Cupid's bow it on the nose. I've also really been liking putting some highlighter like right here and kind of blending it out. There's actually a very real chance I could hit pan on this highlighter soon because I feel like I can see like the bottom of the pan through the product. This actually wouldn't be a bad idea of a product to include in my next project pan, which I haven't decided on my next project pan yet, but I know I really want to do one starting like in January. Blend, 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 blend. Blend, 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 blend. I'm going to bring back out my ABH dip brow because I feel like when I'm going for a look this glam, the brows need to be on point. I actually haven't used this in a while because I've been going for a little bit more of a subtle brow look, but for all out glam looks, you can't go wrong. Say a few Hail Marys, hope we don't mess this up. Ooh, look at that brow. Now let's see, can we do the same thing on the other side? Can we? Can we? Can we? Ooh, they look it intense. So to set that, I'm just gonna go in with a brow gel I've been testing out. This is actually from Pixie. This is the clear brow gel. And just set them babies down. So before I go in and do my eyes, I do just want to set all my powders down real quick and I'm going to use the Catrice Prime and Fine Dewy Glow. I got some in my mouth. So I just jumped off camera real quick just to prime and set my eyes, but I do want to go ahead and jump in with a palette I haven't really been able to dig into a whole lot and haven't really gotten a whole lot of practice with, and that's the Sultry palette. I remember being excited when this came out and and honestly I prefer this to like the the other ABH packaging because I have I have soft glam, I have subculture, I have Norvina, and I have modern renaissance and they all look grungy. <laughs> they all look grungy just because I live in an attic, it gets dusty no matter what I do, and those palettes attract dust. <laughs> so I need to like lint roll them or something. But Anyway, prefer this packaging, and I really wanted to do a nice smoky eye, and this just screams smoky eye. So let's jump in. I set my primer with the shade Fresh right up here for... I want to go with a more like cooly kind of tone, smoky eye. So I'm going to use the shades Twig, Dystopian, and Noir. So like a, a nice taupe, a dark brown, and then the black. So let's do 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 do. So since we're talking about like December birthdays, I can, I'm going to be a little petty. Anyone else who has a December birthday, do you get annoyed when someone gets you a gift that says happy birthday slash Christmas? Like I know it's a thought that counts, but I remember always growing up with that chip on my shoulder. Like it doesn't even like, I don't care about the present. It could have been like a card for my birthday and a card for Christmas. I just didn't like how, like I felt like I was getting lumped together with another holiday just because, just because. So I know that that's petty and that's tiny, but I know Alvin's had the same thing happen to him because his birthday is so close to Christmas. So I know like close family members have been really good about just doing separate things, even if like I said, it's just small, like a card, like a card, like, like, like I'm not that kind of 
person that's going to be like, I need a present for my birthday and I need a present. And they both have to be like this. I just kind of wanted it acknowledged. And I felt like when people did like those combined gifts, it wasn't really acknowledged. That being said, Alvin and I like agreed ahead of time because last year I felt like we tried to like get each other too many things and I don't know. I've, it's always good to like to sit, like agree ahead of time, like what you want to do present wise. Like I know some of my friends, they've got like rules where it's like only the kids get presents and there's a certain number of presents and especially if you're like on a budget. Don't be afraid to say, okay, so do we want to do presents? Do you want a birthday, a Christmas? So we agreed we're each going to give each other one birthday and one Christmas present. So I actually already got his birthday present. I've had his birthday present since October just because I thought, oh, that'd be perfect. And I bought it and just, I hid it. Funny story. I hid his birthday present so well that the other day I was like, oh, I'm going to start wrapping the presents that I've already bought. I should go ahead and wrap his too because I'm not going to be able to see him on his birthday unfortunately because it's a work day and we're both going to be working so I wanted to give it to him this weekend and so I went to find it to wrap it and I hid it so well I couldn't remember where I hid it yeah I feel old so like I panicked for like 10 minutes and I was looking around and then I found it like I remember where I hid it <laughs> But for a good 10 minutes, I was like, oh, Jesus Christ, what, where did I put it? Well, I like how these tones are mixing together. It looks very cute. Okay, so I'm going to be very careful when dipping into this black, but I do want this to be a smoky, smoky eye, so. Ooh, we're getting there. We are getting there. So I don't know what shade I want to use on my lid, actually. There's so many cute shades. So we've got pearl. That could look really cute. Do I want to do a gold? I don't think I want to do a gold. We've got rose quartz. I think I'm going to go with pearl. Cyborg. Ooh. Hold on a second. Let's look at cyborg. We're going to go with cyborg. It's like a, a silver with just like a pint of pint. With just like a tint of like peach or pink in it. We're gonna go with that one. Always have my handy dandy NYX glitter primer on hand no matter what I put on my lid. If I were to be sponsored by anyone, it should be NYX. <laughs> so I feel like that glitter primer is in pretty much every single one of my videos. Ooh, I am glad I picked that shade. This looks stunning. It's exactly what I was going for. Oh, just blend out those edges. <laughs> so for my lower lash line, I'm just going to use a mixture of those same mattes that I used. And just smudge this out. And I'm going to keep the black like right here to give it more of like a cat eye. Because I don't really want to go in with a dramatic wing for this look. Just because I don't know how a wing is going to hold up. Like just in case like the weather is bad or something, you know. Never know. So let's add a little bit of the black right here. Just bring that up. Oh, I love how that looks. And then on my more fluffy brush, I'm going to take the lightest taupe shade that I used and blend everything out. When I first started doing makeup, I used to be so afraid of smoky eyes and I had no idea how to do them, but practice makes perfect. I'm not perfect, of course, but after a little bit of practice, smoky eyes are so pretty. So no liner. I'm just going to go in with some mascara and a mascara that's actually been like rocking my socks off is the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. And you know what? I talked so much shit about this mascara when I saw it on the Weekly Wow. It's stunning. Like it makes me look like I'm wearing false lashes. I definitely just got mascara on my lid, but that's okay. We will wait for it to dry and then use a Q-tip to take it off. Don't try removing mascara wet. You'll just make yourself sad. For my inner corner highlight, I'm just going to stay in the palette and just use that lightest shimmer shade called Pearl and just give us a little bit of highlight right over here. A little bit of highlight right over here. 
So for the last step in this look, I'm just going to go for a nice red lip. It's, ugh, oh, it's holidays. I really want to go with one of the Jeffree Star formula ones because they're so comfortable and they last really well. And they're small, so I can just throw this in my purse and take it with me in case I do need to touch up. I don't know if I want to go with the shade Red Rum or the shade Wifey. I think Red Rum is a more bright red. Let's see. That's a contender. I do want to see Red Rum real quick. Oh, I don't know which one. I think I'm going to go with Red Rum. It's more of like a deep blue based red. Stand by. I'm so glad I went with Red Rum and not Wifey. I feel like it just really pulls this look together. Ah, okay. Whew, we're almost done. Just gonna fix a little, oh, what is my hair doing? Jesus Christ. Oh, so this is the final look. Oh, I, I think it looks so cute. I was also trying to match this scarf because I knew I wanted to wear this scarf when we went. So I think I did a great job. I'm really excited for this. Like I said, 99% chance I'm gonna be having my hair up that day, but I wanted to see how everything looked with it down and it's cute. It's very cute. So thank you guys so much for spending some time with me today. I really appreciate it. If you like this Get Ready With Me, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and let me know what you would like my next Get Ready With Me topic to be. Thank you so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye!